When I'm on a roll, I'm on a roll. These outfits can age you for spring. They can make you look older. They can make you look dated. They can make you look out of touch. Stay tuned. More outfits that can age you. Welcome to my channel. My whole goal for everything I do is to help you get out the door every single day looking and feeling your best. So to create that modern, versatile, beautiful, flattering wardrobe that suits your lifestyle and gets you out the door looking and feeling confident and ready for your day. That's the goal of everything I do and my focus is on women over 40. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button below and definitely join us because I'd love to have you back. This is a, a growing community and we're so happy you're here. So I'm excited because this is round 973 of these outfits can age you. These outfits can age you. These are items and outfits that can make you look older. I don't know a single woman. I mean, I know everyone's like, pro age and embrace our age and all of that. I get it, I, I'm, I'm right there with you. I grew up with a mom who celebrated every birthday because we all recognize that a birthday is a gift from God. It means that we're here for another year and not everyone has had that privilege, right? And that blessing. So yes, we embrace age, but I also don't want to look older than I am or even my age. I'd like to look a little younger. Sue me, I wanna look a little younger than I am. And so these clothes can make you look older. And at the very least, if looking older or looking younger is not your thing and you don't really care one way or the other, um, in which case I'm jealous, then um, maybe you just wanna look more modern or you just wanna look more flattered in your clothes. And these are gonna get you, um, have the opposite impact on your wardrobe. They're going to make you look less modern. They're gonna make you look a little bit like you're not paying attention to things, a little bit out of touch. So uh, along those lines, let me, dis let me discuss, there are two ways that outfits can make us look older. They can be exclusively old lady outfits. So that's the first category of outfits. These are old lady items. These are items, <laughs> I call them old lady items because they don't exist for anyone else. Like nobody else has this category of items. They are just for us over 40, over 50. Like they're specific and unique and weird and sketchy categories that were designed just for us. The second category of items is dated items. A lot of the items that we wear that are, are bringing down our style, bring down our style because they're out of date. They have details or patterns or silhouettes that are just not modern. Does that mean that everything we wear has to be trendy? 100% no, like absolutely not. Maybe 20 to 30, if you, if you like trends and you want to wear trends, then only 20 to 30% of your wardrobe should consist of trends. 70% of your wardrobe should be what I call call modern classics. And if you want to see a video on modern classics, let me know in the description box. I did do a video on nine wardrobe essentials that every woman should own, and that was a version of modern classics, but I can do way more on pieces that you can bring into your wardrobe that are really going to be timeless. And by timeless, I mean they're going to last you a solid five to ten years. If I were to tell you that something is going to last in your wardrobe for 30 years, I would be lying because I do not know if we're going to be wearing space suits in 30 years. Like, how do we know? No, but I know that a good, you can get a good five to 10 years, maybe longer out of, out of some of those pieces. And really looking at fashion in terms of 10 year cycles, in terms of the classics can be a way of looking at it. So every 10 years, even the classics alter a little, shift a little, change a little, adjust a little. And you want your wardrobe to keep, and let's face it, if you're gonna be wearing these pieces a lot, which you are because they're modern classics and they're amazing, you're going to want to update them because they're gonna get worn out, right? So um, to, to go back to my, my topic, you know, the, the trend pieces are the pieces that need to look modern or updated. The pieces that have details, the pieces that have patterns or interest to them. Now the basic pieces are probably gonna stay more or less basic for, like I said, that five to 10 year window. But when you are ready for, you know, some fun pieces to bring into your wardrobe, you need to recognize that those pieces have a shelf life. They have a shelf life. They have an expiration date. I always say they come with time stamps. And sometimes I can look at a wardrobe and know that a woman hasn't shopped since 2017, right? Like we can see that. So we want those pieces to be modern. So those are the two categories of pieces that can age you. They can be, like I said, old lady exclusive pieces or um, dated pieces. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples of each. And some of these are more outfits and some are more pieces. But 
let's get started because we got a lot to cover as always the first category this is an old lady exclusive category for the most part it's an old lady exclusive it's just for us it's a dress with jacket it's a dress with jacket now i've warned about these in the past but i have not shown this specific type of dress with jacket so this is a dress with now i've shown a dress where you know it's a pattern and then they pull the color from the pattern for a topper this is a dress with a matching jacket in the same pattern and the jacket is, it's it's at an awkward length that it's not the length of the jacket, it's not waistline, it's just a very awkward length, it's a very awkward pattern, it's a very awkward outfit, but that dress with jacket combo is a killer. Um, it has to be done very well and very modern for that to work. Um, in general, you want to add a, a modern classic like a blazer or um, a bomber or a moto jacket to a dress if you want to add a topper to a dress and don't wear it with a matching jacket. Ah, dress with jacket. Second is, this is this falls into the, the dated um, category, and this is a dress with dated details. I see these everywhere. These weird prints, a lot of times they have like trim going down the front, you know, and the, the prints are dated. The silhouette is just very blah, and then it has a, a detail that, that firmly puts it in one specific season or one specific year. In the, the case of this dress, there's like a metal bar here. Like that's just a dated detail. We're not seeing that anymore. Um, in dresses, if you scan Nordstrom's contemporary or Saks contemporary section, you're not going to see that metal bar detail there. And so it's just a dated detail. So remember, details are what date. Details are what date. If you want a wardrobe that's going to be as timeless as a wardrobe can possibly be in 2023 when things move really quickly, then you want items with fewer details. So this dress in a solid color without the metal bar would have been fine. But the dress in the pattern with the with the stripes going this way and the metal bar firmly dates it and makes it look dated. So that's item number two, pieces that can age you. Okay, this is a dress with a matching jacket. It's another dress with a matching jacket. Just allow me to go back to a dress with matching jacket. Now, this is the opposite of the other dress with matching jackets that I've been talking about. Usually I talk about a printed dress with a, with a solid jacket. This is a solid dress with a printed jacket. It's equally deadly. I'm just gonna call this number three, but really it could be an extension. It could be 1A or 1B, but this is another old lady exclusive. You do not see dresses like this with matching jackets for women in their 20s or 30s. These are for women in their 60s. And this is like, oh, I'm 60 and I want to make life simple. So I'm going to buy a dress with a built-in jacket instead of buying a beautiful solid dress, buying a beautiful blazer, wearing them together. That's a much, much more modern approach, not to mention a much more versatile approach because that dress and that jacket are only going to go together and who needs that in, our, in their lives, right? Um, Along the same line, here's a dress with a flowy jacket that is, again, solid dress, pattern jacket. They go together. But do they really? No, they don't because they don't complement each other because they're both so bad. They're both really, really bad. They're both awful. They're, they're not cute. That's not, none of those, are, those pieces are just not cute. And so don't do that to yourself. Like, do not do that to yourself. If you have one of these in your wardrobe, easy update, lose the jacket lose the jacket. Those are just solid, normal dresses. They're just solid dresses. Why add those weird flowy jackets? And people think that when you're adding a flowy layer on top of a flow, and especially a flowy printed layer on top of a dress, that you are adding flattery because, oh, you're covering up all the things you don't like, like your arms or whatever. Instead, you're adding bulk and you're adding volume to the side of your body. And I don't know many of us that really want that in our lives. Okay, this next category, this next item, is a dated category. These are these diagonal tiers. I don't know how else to put it, but they're like ruffles that are diagonal, usually in jersey material, usually not not hemmed or seamed. It's like a raw hem at the at the layers. This is just there's so many things wrong with this. Like, how do I dislike the let me count the ways? <laughs> I'm such a poet. Um, so like the pattern is awful. The pattern is awful. Then these diagonal, now that can be that. That could be flattering if it wasn't so dated. That's a that's a dated look. Those those diagonal tears. There's a, there are other ways to get that flattery, like ruching or gathering or whatever, without having those weird tears. It's just out of style. The pattern is really bad. Um, I, I just I, I I think nothing about that is modern. So that's a dated dress. So if you have something with those diagonal tears in in your wardrobe, I would consider letting that go. Okay. 
this is, I don't even know how to describe this. This is definitely exclusively old lady. I think it's just so bad. So I've already, do you want me to talk about dresses with jackets again? Because I can go on and on, but this isn't even a dress with a jacket. This is a dress with an overlay. So it's a faux layer. That's my, fa my, my least favorite, my least favorite kind of layer. It's a faux layer. It's a layer without the versatility of a layer. Oh my goodness. And it's so bad. So again, they think, oh, we want to flatter a body. So in order to flatter a body, we're not gonna show the body. We're gonna cover the body with a shower curtain. And then that's gonna fix everything. Like we're gonna put a shower curtain on top and then we're, we're, we're all set, right? Like, no, you've added drapey chiffon layers to uh, an otherwise normal solid dress and you have just added a lot of weight. Now, I just had a comment from someone who said, they love chiffon dresses because they're over 70 and, and, and chiffon layers are their friend. I'm, let me know. Maybe I'll do a video on how to dress up over 40 and show you the options to the pastel chiffon um, mature formal gown category that I've been talking about. This is not pastel, but it's got those chiffon weird layers. It's attached to the dress. Okay. The overlay dress. I'm just going to stop because I'm, it's making me angry. Something else that's making me angry. Another faux layer. Next category. This is another old lady exclusive. This is a faux layered dress with like a built in. It's supposed to look like a skirt and a shirt, I think, or a cape or ja I don't know, over the dress. I don't know what's the, what the point of that is, but you've got it's something that looks like, I mean, you can tell I'm speechless, something that looks like two separate pieces, but it's not two separate pieces. And then that chiffon layer over the top is just not okay. Like that's not cute. I don't know why they would do that. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Like, again, if you're going to layer, use actual layers because then you're going to have the versatility that comes with layers. This does nothing. Okay, the next item, this is a dated item. A dress with a border, like a dress with that geometric pattern with a border. Now there are brands like Gretchen, I'm blanking, is it Gretchen Neal? Tracy Negotian, J.M. McLaughlin, maybe a little Lily that have these really cool and they're very um, identifiable statement prints. Gretchen Scott, Gretchen Scott, I think it's Gretchen Scott. Um, those are cool prints and those are very identifiable. They definitely um, are kind of a preppy style and a lot of people love them and there is nothing wrong with those dresses. But the dresses, the way that they look 10 years ago, the way that they look now are very different. And if you still have some of those, those silky jersey dresses and some of those patterns from some of those brands um, and they have that band at the bottom, I would consider either hemming it shorter if you can get away with it, it being shorter or you know, maybe putting that away and waiting for that trend to come back in because that border is very dated. And again, dated pieces really make us look dated because um, I, I want people to think that I was born in like 2015 <laughs> and um, I wasn't around for all of this stuff. What's 20? Oh my gosh, that would make me eight years old. I didn't mean that. I just don't do math very well. Okay. I'm, I know I'm on a kick about dresses and jackets or dresses and toppers, but this is another one. Um, and I'm talking about two separate things, two separate problems here. So first of all, this dress has a matching jacket, which I have said 150 bajillion times, unless you're talking about a solid with a solid. You're talking about a black jacket with a black dress or a red jacket with a red dress, totally fine. But this floral dress and then a jacket that pulls the color from the pattern. I know I sound like a broken record, but that is so bad. That is so bad. Please, please, like, let me, let me take you shopping and, and, and show you other ways that you can cover your arms besides wearing a jacket with a color pulled from the pattern like this, like this. Um, if there was a 20 year old who had a version of this outfit and it was a modern version of this outfit, could you pull it off at 20? Yes, but I feel like at, as soon as you hit 40, you need to give those away because they are they really will look matronly. But that's not the only problem. Wait, there's more. There's the second problem with this is that that's, that, what is that What is that sweater or jacket or whatever? Someone just asked me about it in the Facebook group. Those little cropped sweaters or bolleros, as my mom calls them, the little cropped like nothing sweater kind of thing that is like, look, I just want to cover my upper arm. That's all that says to me is, oh, she wanted to cover her upper arms. That's what that says. 
And that's what it says to everybody. She wanted to cover her upper arms because she couldn't possibly have put that little jacket on thinking it was A, going to keep her warm or B, going to be a style addition. It was, it's just like, I want to cover my upper arms. So I say, don't wear a sleeveless dress. Wear a dress with a sleeve that hits above the elbow and you've got the same effect and it's so much more flattering and modern. But that, those little jackets, if you have any of those tiny little nothing sweaters, I don't know how to call, you know what I mean? Those little cropped sweaters with the short sleeves and no buttons. Those need to go. Those need to go. I do not think those are ever going to come back. They were never your friend. Um, it's time to break up with those. It's time to break up with those. Here's another one. Not quite as, but it's no, it's bad. It's just as bad. This is a dress with a mesh version of this. So it's a floral dress with a mesh version of this little nothing kind of cardigan jacket thing. And it ties in the middle. So that's even extra awesome. So it, it's so dated and it's so, look at me, my arms are covered. No, I get that we need to cover our arms. I'm, that's, that's like right around the corner for me. Um, and there are a lot of things I do cover. Um, that's not the way to do it. Like, let's just wear sleeves, right? Let's wear sleeves. Okay, the next, oh, here's another one. Dress with a tie-on jacket, just in case you needed a, a, an, another visual example of what I'm talking about. Here's another dress with a useless jacket that ties in the front. So that's a big old no, 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 no. Okay, now I'm going to show you two items in really dated, splashy prints and why I, I dislike them so much. This is what I call the trimmed top. I don't know how else to describe this, but it has contrasting trim at the bottom, just like that dress did. And then it has is either a square neck or a scoop neck or a V-neck that has a band of a coordinating pattern, but not the same pattern as the rest of the shirt. So the pattern coordinates, like so it's got a band like that, we see a lot of halter style tops like this, that there are jersey material, floral, and then you've got a band and like a geometric pattern that has the same colors as the floral. That's not, that's not your friend. That's not your friend. So the trimmed top is, a, that's what I'm calling it. This is both dated and old lady. I'm just gonna check both boxes with this because I don't see anybody under the age of 40 wearing these. They're definitely out of style. And I think that they are marketed towards older women. Um, usually, I feel like we're seeing progress because usually that top would have been paired with yellow pants. And I think I did see the same pattern paired with something yellow on another page on the same site. Here it's just paired with white, which improves it but you don't want the trimmed top. The next item with the same, with, with the same pro problem in terms of pattern, the pattern being splashy and dated is, I'm just gonna call this the sassy maxi. The sassy maxi. This is dated, I, I sometimes I can't separate these things. This is dated. This is more dated than it is matronly, but I'm saying that I, I only see it on women over 40, but it's definitely something that was in style and everybody wore like 10 years ago. It's a sassy maxi. It's a, sa it's a maxi in a dated statement print. Dated splashy print. This print, again, it's got that border on the bottom. I have it out for that border, but it's a print is dated. So can you wear a maxi with a print on it? 150%. My, my sister just asked me to find her a couple, a couple of days ago and I was like, yes, there are some really cute maxis with, with prints on them. This is not one of them. If you want to see the prints that age you video, I, I featured a couple. There's a Trina Turk one in there. I think there's a Farm Rio one in there. There's some great maxis with prints on them that are modern, but the, the, the sassy maxis are that jersey or slinky jersey material in a statement print that is dated, often with a border or other dated details. Avoid the sassy maxi. You can be sassy without it. I know I am. Okay, I, I call this, I just love my plays on words here, tears for tears. Does anyone get that reference, Tears for Fears? It was like such an iconic band in the 80s. Okay, Tears for Tears, because these tears are like just so bad so it's a chiffon tear dress it's got the diagonal tears but I, I guess it's very similar to the patterned tear dress that I showed you earlier but it's got these like they come in like a triangle kind of thing I, I you know I don't know how to describe it and it's got a matching jacket because you need extra chiffon on the sleeves to add extra volume there like that is not okay so those the, the chiffon tears um 
That is an old lady item. That is an item that instantly is mature. And for those of you who say chiffon is my friend, let me show you some other options. I will do another video where I show you other options and other ways to flatter our body and to hide whatever we want to hide or to minimize whatever we want to minimize without bringing me to tears like this chiffon dress does. Okay, next category. This is dated and old. This is the curved hem top. The curved hem top. So we're not going to wear our tops out like that. Anyway, most of the time, if you're going to wear a tunic, it's going to be a long sh version of a regular shirt and it's going to have a straight hem. If it has that curved hem, it needs to be tucked. So if you have tops that have these curved hems, you need to tuck them in. They are out of style. They have been out of style for like 74 or 75 76 years i don't know how long maybe only five years but whatever like who's counting it's they're out of style and this top is so bad there's a lot of other things wrong with this top but let's just observe that curved hem so what is that curved hem doing it is like just going over the 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 middle part of her pants like that it's like to me you always want to look i'm not going to say it because i'm lady i try to be ladylike but you always want to look at where a hem hits. I do not want anybody's eye being drawn to that part of my body. Like, I don't think that that's an okay look. And that hits in a really awkward spot. So you don't want that curved hem. That's not fun. He, um, oh my gosh, I'm going to go back to tears for tears for a second and show you another example of a bad tiered dress. Short printed tiered dress style. This is so bad. It looks like it's even, I mean, in addition to the tiers and the pattern and the sleeves, it looks like it's even got like, it's slightly higher in the front than it is in the back. There's so much going on with that dress. Like my head is literally spinning. I cannot take it. Okay. Uh, is there such a thing as good tiered items? Absolutely. Here's an example of a good tier dress. Tiers are actually like like a, a, a you know a dress with three different layers or three different tiers going down like that. It's very trendy right now. Just doesn't look like those chiffon or those diagonal layers. Okay, I love this. The three piece evening set. Now there is a daytime version of this. This happens to be an evening version, and of course it's in chiffon and lace and in taupe. So that's a winning combo right there. When you are looking at pieces in chiffon and lace and you add a light or pastel color to them, that is a recipe for a, 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 a mature look, a matronly look. I'm seriously, um, I, I'm a, at a loss for words and you know that doesn't happen very often. This is so bad. So it's drapey pants and a drapey top with a long drapey jacket. Um, this is what I would wear if I wanted to play um, a 75 year old in a movie. Like I would wear that outfit and people would be like, oh, she's 75 years old because she's wearing that outfit. Like that's what that does to us. And I don't care if, you are, if you're 75 or 85 or 65 or 53 like me, um, none of us want our clothes to broadcast our age like that. And this is just very, very unfortunate, very unfortunate. Like instead, go back to my nine wardrobe essentials um, video that I did with Lily Silk. You can see like a blouse and a beautiful pair of dress pants. That's your new and updated version of this. It's going to be so much more versatile and so much more flattering. Don't make me come out there. Don't make me come. If I see the three piece set, I'm going to have a moment. Okay, another piece. This is one that's dated and I see it all the time and it drives me crazy. It's the roll tab shirt. So it's like got the roll sleeve with a tab to keep the roll up. We know that roll, that tab never did anything anyway. Like it just ends up looking messy and wrinkled and it's dated. It's been out of style for a while. Everything about this shirt is dated, but I'm focusing specifically. I'm really trying hard not to comment on the the flowiness or the pattern or the hem and I'm really really trying hard to stick to just the roll tab sleeves because that's what I'm focused on in this that is a dated detail so if you have a roll tab shirt then I would definitely consider letting that go I'm trying to keep this moving okay the next item is a handkerchief tunic so a sleeveless this is a sleeveless one there's long sleeve there are short sleeves you take your pick or don't take your pick avoid them because these are the handkerchief hem tunics um people again think that if you add more fabric or you add asymmetrical details like that then you're going to automatically add flattery and that is very rarely the case in this case it, it as absolutely does not does not add flattery and it's not that's not cute. It's it's dated, very dated, but it also this is a piece that's exclusively aimed at women over 40. So I'm going to, this is going to check the um, old lady exclusive box. 
I really, I cannot, I cannot say anything nice about this. I really can't say anything nice about this. I just don't know why this exists. Okay, this is a, an old lady exclusive, 100% for sure, 100%. It is what I call a tunikini. I don't think that anyone else calls it a tunikini, but I just coined that phrase. And it's a, a tankini, but the top is a tunic. The top is a tunic. And this is my feeling about tankinis. Tankinis, if you want them for fit or for practicality, 100% I get that. Just keep the bottom and the top the same so that it kind of looks like a one piece, but it's actually two pieces. It's when you get the solid bottom and the printed top, and then the solid bottom is shorts, and the printed top is a flowy tunic. I get that we don't all love the way that we look in a skimpy bathing suit on the beach. I 100% get that. And I think that there are so many swim shirts and rash guards and even swim pants and swim shorts that look really modern and that can give you the coverage that you need while still looking stylish and still looking, um, and still making you feel cute on the beach. This is not the way to do it. She is wearing I'm going to use that analogy again. She's wearing a floral shower curtain as a swim top. There's no other way to put it. It is really bad. That is really bad. At the very least, if you're going to go for the silhouette, make it solid. Oh my gosh. But the combination is a tunic, bikini top, tunic, tankini top. I don't understand that. Like that's not the way to, a, a tankini is supposed to work. It's supposed to look like a one piece bathing suit, but it's two pieces. That's the tankini for you. This is why I rarely recommend tankinis because they, they will sneak these in and people will be like, but you said tankinis are good, but not that one, right? So that's why I said no to tankinis. I was not trying to be bossy. I was just trying to steer you clear away from these atrocities. Okay. Swing tanks and swing tees. What is up with swing tanks and swing tees? I've been seeing them on all the sites. These are always aimed at women over 40. This is an old lady exclusive, but this is a tee or a tank with volume or movement at the bottom because they think it's going to be really, really cute to just have a flowy bottom. Um, it's not cute to have a flowy bottom. Like it's not it's just an A-line cut T or an A-line cut tank. And that is not slimming. And it definitely does not cover like tummy or hip or any other um, area that we might be wanting to minimize. Having a top that fits you is gonna be way more flattering than a, an A-line top like this. These are always paired with skinnies, which are also not gonna be flattering for anyone who feels like they have something to hide or something to minimize. Skinnies and um, a swing tee or swing tank is 100% not your friend. Okay. Another detail, another type of item, this is going to be in the data details section, um, category. This is a lattice sleeve tee. Lattice sleeve tee. So this is a tee with the sleeves that are open like this. Often, often shown in splashy prints. This one I found in a neutral. It's not, this is a, a style, this style has not been in style for a very long time. Like probably 15 years. 10 years, I don't know, but it hasn't been in style for a very long time and it's not in style, that lattice sleeve detail. You can also sometimes see it here, but that is not, you don't want that at all. So you just wanna, if you have those, I would just say, maybe just give those away, get rid of them, do whatever you need to do, but that's just not, that is just not your friend. Um, that's just not your friend. And then just for good measure here, I just found another handkerchief hem tunic that I didn't show you in the first, when I showed you the last handkerchief hem tunic. And I'm gonna show you this one just because I just want you to see, if you can see what I see, how much the eye is drawn to the hem of that and any trouble spots that you might be trying to minimize. Um, and it, it even if you have nothing to minimize, this is not your friend because it's not modern and it's not cute. It's just not cute. It's not cute. And I like things, you know, like I like frilly things and fun things and details. And I like interesting clothes and eclectic and creative and patterns. I like all that stuff, but, but not when they look like that. We want to keep them modern. And so, again, let's go back to looking at those modern classics, the pieces that are going to make up 70, 80% of your wardrobe. And then from season to season, add a couple of modern, fun, printed, maybe a little statement updates 
and then be prepared to let those updates go when their time has come. Because if you buy a trendy piece, that piece has an expiration date on it, and the more details it has, the closer that expiration date is. So if you want your pieces to last, you want your wardrobe to last, choose items with uh, fewer details and they're gonna stay in your wardrobe longer. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you, thank you for staying with me through another long edition of These Outfits Can Age You, These Outfits Can Age You. Um, I'm here to like, peruse the websites with you and help you make the decisions of the items that you're going to spend your hard-earned money on, bring into your wardrobe, and wear for a long time to come. These are not those items. If you already have them in your wardrobe, I would consider um, letting them go, repurposing them into, I don't know, I don't know how you could repurpose them. Just let them go. Just let them go. You have my you have my permission and I'm cheering you on every step of the way. Love you guys. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you're still here, don't forget to hit the like button. It means so much to me. Comment below. Let me know which of these items surprised you, which you may have lurking in your closet. No judgment. I'm just here to inform and hopefully entertain. Um, and then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That red button means that you'll be back and we can hang out again. Love hanging out with you guys. I'll see you in the next video.